Hello everybody, it's me Kawhi420 here and um, I'm just doing a video, I just wanted to like, show you guys what stuff I use for painting my models as in um, getting glossy, really fancy, sparkly stuff so um, I'm going to start off with what um, I spray out of um, I have two airbrushes I have HPCS, it's more, more uh, for detail work because you can control the air pressure from the tip and I got a regular one that is actually is a bigger tip so I can shoot like pearls Gosh. and all kinds of different stuff and, um, and this one's for the pretty much uh, the little bigger models something that I need to get more coverage is uh you know I know you think it's a pretty big gun but it sometimes does help um, okay we're gonna start off with pearls I use a uh, using it right there. Copper shop, copper um, custom shop, quality products. Um, Diamond crystal pearl. Um, just search that on the internet. They have good prices. Um, I have a assortment of them. Uh, Ruby red, emerald green. This is really nice. Um, Diamond crystal pearl. We got red crystal pearl, and this is the house of color. Um, <clears throat> I got this from uh, Coast Airbrush. Um, they're kind of expensive. Like the price of this, you can get a big one like this or a bigger one. So you know, and the, I believe these ones are a little more. I like these better because house of color is really good, but for the price and quality, this is awesome. And I also have mini flake. Um, this is for like bigger jobs, pretty much when I do helmets or motorbikes. But um, I also use some of it in my models just to give give it that, that brilliant lowrider look. So, um, all right, let's start off with clear coat. This is what I use. I get this from my local Napa Auto Parts store. They sell um, automotive paint and. Uh, this is what I use for everything from my jobs of motorbikes, helmets, cars to my models because this is really good um, clear for the price um, this gallon I get it for about 60 bucks and it comes with a you get the hardener you get slow medium and fast um, I recommend well, where I live, I get the medium because the humidity is crazy over here. Um, but this clear what I use uh, when I spray my pearls, I add these pearls into a mixture clear, whatever it says to the mixture. Uh, let me see, it is um, four parts to one, so four parts clear to one part hardener. So when I mix that, I put in two separate cups and I add a pearl to one cup. Then I spray the pearl, let that dry. Then I shoot the just uh, clear over the pearl, so you set the pearl down. Um, as for candies, um, yeah, oh yeah, the name of this is uh, Finish One, Finish One uh, Ultimate Overall Clear Coat. So it, they're a brand themselves. So if you have a local Napa, um, possible they will be carrying this. And uh, what else I get from that bar? Um, it's called uh, Planet Colors. I sorry for the bottle. All. Yeah, but this is a candy concentrate, electric dye concentrate. I have about seven, eight different concentrates, um, different colors like red, yellow, blue. But I don't want to bring them all. Out. I just pre-mix them. See like Caribbean blue candy, and I keep them in these bottles. See liquid fire. This is yellow. And the mixture is like it's like a clear coat, but it's like more like a carrier. This PCMC2 works with this system, so you mix the candy with this, then you reduce it. So that's be so it can be sparable because it's kind of thick. So this is what reduces down. But um, this uh, base coat stabilizer is basically like it has a hardener in it, um, but it's like a reducer, so it looks like milk but it activates this so it dries so that's how I do with my candy 
don't know. Those are regular base coats. But yeah, um, candies can be endless. You can mix them, make your own colors. You also could add pearl to the candy to give it a base coat. So it's easier covered, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, streaking or light and dark spots. But I did that. It gives it a different effect. So, like, if you add um, a red pearl to a blue candy, it's going to turn, like, a purple. So you can, it's, it's endless of different color combinations, flip-flop colors. Because, you know, guys, like, you guys see my work. I love my sparkly stuff. And, um... I just wanted to show you guys how I do it, you know, and hope you guys can. I mean, um, alcohol, I mix this with a little bit of water. That's what I do for pre-clean my, my models or anything. Um, I use, also use, like, wax and grease remover, but I know this is a little cheaper, a little, it, it does the job. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what my setup is. As for, like, base coat colors, black, silver, you know, it's the same thing. It's, you just go to the store and ask them. You know, you look at a car, what kind of silver you want, or tell them, you know, I want a silver, white, whatever, and you give you the reducer. But make sure you tell them you want it um, two-stage paint, because if you get a single stage, the clear is already in the paint, and that that, that does come out all right. But I like being control of my shine and the smoothness, so that's why I go with two-stage, and I like to spray my own clear. So remember, guys, this clear is really good. That's how I get my glosses on my one. And, well, the airbrushes, um, the compressor, it's my shop. Yep, all around. Yep. So, well, okay, guys. Um, hope this video helped. And, uh, you guys take care. Happy New Year. And aloha.